salutations. Happy Vlogtober. Day four. See, I didn't want this to be too bright. We'll hope, I hope this is, I tried to record this before and it was like super duper bright. So we will try our bestest. Okay, so today's video is going to be about Violet. Violet was the Brown's daughter. I believe she was the eldest and the only survivor. There were some quirky things about Violet. Now, I never had a, um, never had a chat with Violet. She never really was present. I think it was more of a residual energy kind of thing with her. But a bunch of things happened that we felt were very Violet. Um, the first thing that we would hear sometimes is somebody playing the piano. And this would be when we were setting up for a wedding or my boss would be in the basement and I would be on the first floor, you know, tidying things up and getting ready for, um, you know, putting out chairs and chair toppers in the, um, I believe it was in the parlor. No, it was actually in the, um, solarium I think or the music room I'm not sure which but I think it was in the solarium and people would take pictures um you know from the doorway because we did rope everything off during weddings because you couldn't having a bunch of people who were curious touching a hundred year old relics was just it wasn't good for business <laughs> and so we would hear people you know playing piano um, Violet's room was on the second floor, and so her room was kind of, I believe, in the, it's either the first or second room, I can't remember. Um, but, you know, that's usually where we had, I believe, the bridal suite. I think so, because it had, um, a lot of space, and so they could get ready, get, you know, get ready in a, in a historical, you know, space, and it was really beautiful. And... So, the piano was one thing. Um, the next thing was the gardens. I always saw two women out in the garden, and I assumed that one of them was um, Violet because of the fact that one of them looked a lot more modern, like, say, from, like, the 60s versus the 20s. Like, Violet always had a sun hat on and, like, a flowered dress. Sometimes she had brightly colored pants. Um, you know, like the, uh, the, what do you call them? Like, the, the polyester pants. <laughs> um, and so I would see her out there sometimes, but I never really interacted with her. But... I've been called in multiple times with brides saying, I keep smelling flowers. What is that flower? And I said, it's a, it's a violet. It's probably Violet wishing you good luck. She, I don't believe Violet married. Or if she did, it, it didn't last long. But I don't, I don't believe that she did ever marry, that I recall. Um, I know she didn't have any children. I haven't worked there in like almost like, 14 years, so 13 years. So it's it's been a long time in my memory. Forgive me, it's kind of crazy. Um, but we saw them working outside a lot, out in the sun. And um, I would hear rustling skirts. And I didn't know if that was Mrs. Brown or if it was Violet. Now, the weirdest thing this that I'll close with is this, is that... At the very top of the steps, there once hung a photo of Violet as a young lady, young girl. And I'm not sure if it's still there or not, but many, many, many people had adverse reactions to, to that photo. It was just, it was truly kind of a crazy situation. It was like, you know, she was... Um, Somebody said it was the eyes. We had people that had passed out. We've had people who had looked at it and swore that they're being pushed down the stairs. Now, I may have my bestie come in on this in the next video just kind of as a, as a short because 
she worked at the other museum, at the Dalton Museum, and we used to have get-togethers. We'd have dinner, I can't if it was like every other month or something like that. And so I gave her a tour one time, and she can give you her experiences if you guys are interested in that. Um, but people felt like they were afraid to walk down the stairs. Um, many people have felt sick to their stomach. You know, it, I never felt anything, and I never felt like there was anything paranormal attached to that. But, you know, we had enough cases that it was definitely something was there. And so, you know, um, I honestly believe that Violet was more residual. Charlie and Donald, definitely, definitely long-time visitors. Um, but Violet, not, not so much. She just kind of came and went. And I think that it was kind of like her energy was just kind of residual there. So, if you want the story about Bestie coming to the Brown when we were having dinner and all those things. I just got terrified. Sorry, my cat's tail just tapped me on the <laughs> on the leg, and it. Anyway, <laughs> I will see you all for day five, and we'll be talking about Mr. Brown and William. We'll throw William in there because I only have one story that I do know about William, or that I assume was William. All right, thank you all for watching day four. And I will see you all very soon. Take care.